Hi and welcome to program 15 in the series of programs and tutorials which focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Program 15 is designed to attempt to find those areas on a chart where major turning points have occurred most frequently in the past. It does this in two dimensions, uh, firstly by the time and secondly by price levels. So let me just go into a little bit more detail uh, about each of those cases and uh, we'll then uh, fine finish up by looking at the uh, the inputs and how they affect the chart. So firstly the program goes through and every time a new turning point of a specific significance as determined by this program is found we compare the time of that turning point with the turning point times that are already stored in an array. If the time is already stored in the array then we increment what we call its significance index. If a time such a time is not already stored in the array then we store the time with a significance index of 1 and we would if the array is full delete the oldest element from the array. In this way we create an array with a list of times and significance indexes or how, basically how many times they've occurred before on the chart. So what we do for time. Similarly for price we compare the level of the new turning point with levels already stored in a price array. If the level stored in the price array plus or minus a, a what we call a combined value is near to the newly found level then we increment the significance index for the level already stored in the array. If however the new line is not close to an existing level in the array then we delete the oldest element from the array and we store this new level in the array with a significance index of 1. In this way we develop uh, two arrays one which has a record of the times at which major turning points occurred and their significance index. We also have an array with the uh, price levels at which significant turning points have occurred and their significance index. Having done that, for every new time, every new bar, we analyze the time and if the time of the bar, for example, look at this bar here, this is the 635 bar, if the 6, uh, 635 is stored in the array with a significance index above a user-defined level, then we have the option of drawing this vertical line. What we then do is look at the closing value of this bar and we see if it is between two uh, price levels also stored in the array that have significance index above a user-defined value. If there are, then what we do is we draw a second line between the, the, uh, the two price level to support resistance or potential support resistance price levels. And the idea of the program is that by doing this we would hopefully find some um, zones and you can see in this particular case looking at the five minute e-mini a small move to the uh, to the upside. So um, if we just go through the chart you probably see some other situations where this occurs. So this program is similar to program 14 but what we do is we bring in the uh, element of price uh, in addition to to time. So so I, so what you're really looking for are uh, uh, shorter vertical cyan lines in this particular case and you can see another example here a little cluster of timelines which there are obviously a cluster of support resistance lines as well and uh, you see a little move to the upside there. So let's just go through the the inputs and I will uh, explain those. So firstly I'll go through some of the easy ones. Light grey, this is the colour of the timelines, these are similar to 
the lines in program 14 and you have the option of either showing or not showing these so we could turn that to false could change the color of the uh, the turning zone colors make that dark blue and uh, you can also change the thickness of the uh, the turning zone color so they're I think relatively easy to understand the ones are a little more complicated uh, timelines to show this is the number that the uh, rather this is the number of timelines that we're going to plot on the chart so having created the index we sort it based on the significance index and we just plot we just draw the top 10 in this particular case uh, level lines filter what we do here is we go through the array of uh, price levels support resistance levels and we uh, we filter out any that have a significance index below this number and uh, pivot tune this determines how we um, determine what our major turning points a smaller number means that we get more turning points a larger number means that we get um, a, a fewer number of these major turning points and just out of interest if I'm just going to cancel this for a second but if we were to go into program 14 and what I'm going to do is bundle 14 and 15 together but uh, program 14 does actually close uh, uh, draw the zigzags this is the way we're determining the uh, what are what we're determining are major turning points and uh, the retrace percentage here of 0.2 is the same uh, number that we're using in program 15 um, as the uh, pivot tune so you may if you do um, decide to download this you might want to use it in conjunction with 14 and then you can actually draw the zigzags and satisfy yourself that you're finding the major turning points okay combine val this is uh, I just mentioned a moment ago when we're determining the support and resistance levels in the array um, what we do is when we find a new level or rather a, a new turning point occurs we compare that level with the amount in the array plus combined value and minus combined value if the new level falls within those two uh, boundaries then we increase the significance index of the line in uh, included in the array so it just gives a little bit of extra flexibility uh, when dealing with those horizontal support and resistance lines anyway I hope you might find this program educational and you uh, as I say I'm going to bundle it together with program uh, 14 so if you wish to download 15 you'll also get program 14 so thank you very much